The more that we have an understanding of our Creator, the more that we have an ability to build forth divinity, the idea of the Shekinah. But to understand that the Shekinah itself is the idea that we are connected in the Yesod and the Malakos, that it is His foundation that builds into the Kingdom. You see, when we plant the Word of God, we already have a divine connection. You have sowed the ground. You have prepared the Word. And when we have the Word of God, we have all keys, all the spiritual blessings and the divine emanation that cometh forth because of the love of our Creator, a love for His Word. When you have the love of the Word of God, you sow it unto your heart. And when you sow the Word of God in your heart, you know how to call forth creation. You can calm the storm. You can build forth salvation, faithfulness, fidelity. Amen. That's where we get the word from. The mind. It's to build forth that fidelity. You get to receive that crown of heaven. The Kesel Shema Chaim. The more that you have a spiritual understanding of the word of God, the more that you then see the manifestation and the creation of these blessings within existence. So as you speak a spiritual kingdom, you end up seeing it also within the world. It parallels each other. So that the Malkus, Shema Chaim, the Kesel of the Malkus, you see it. And it is truly the way John says it. John uses this. And he says that in the beginning is the Word. The Word is with God. And the Word was God. And it dwelt among us. That's the ability. You can create that. You can create strength. Gevur. The way that we end up seeing this. It's actually symbolism. Everything within the Word builds forth within creation itself. So that if we lack wisdom, we ask God for wisdom. Ask Him for chokmah, benach, and thus. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That chokmah, as it is, actually the wisdom of God. That fortune that we end up receiving is actually a portion of His blessing. But God continues to pour forth those blessings day after day. When you continue to persevere through trial, tribulation, and struggle, to then therefore receive the mighty riches and the glory coming forth because of that fidelity then faith therefore is edified and you find yourself sanctified ready to be justified before God that though a sinner you are forgiven and you are then given the eternity and the blessings that come forth in Christ Jesus I want to give you that opportunity today an opportunity to praise God to welcome in the salvation of Christ to ask God for these spiritual benedictions and his blessings so that you also have the word of God so within your heart Open up the word, sow it on your heart, and receive the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is within you and all around you. When we have his word, we have the keys to the kingdom. God bless. God bless America. And I'll see you.